Hello YouTube. So, I was going to do a little update video on my Toyota. So far, it's been running really good. I took it on road trips, went and saw my date, saw my friends, went to the movies on my date. Long mile trips, I should say. And, uh, runs beautiful. The engine does not have much power. <laughs> but you gotta keep in mind, it's only 132 horsepower, one point liter, four cylinder. Coil packs, one, two, three, four. Injector, one, two, three, four. Intake, one, two, three, four. Here's the oil, here's the alternator right here, easy to get to. The electric steering's right here. They put the oil ones here, check the oils here. Fuel rail is right here. All the sensors are here. The valve gasket is right here. Everything is so easy to access. Um, I'm sure this is for the chain driving, or the... Sorry for that noise, bear with me. That is the air conditioner, it's hot. So this is for the cam, I suppose, the solenoids to make sure that the timing chain is in check. There's two of them, there's one, two there. I'm, I'm imagining that that's what it is. The battery's right here and easy to get to. It's just take these two bolts off and the only bad thing about these Corollas are, or any Toyota I should say, they have this zinc or whatever kind of negative wire and they seem to corrode and I see this one starting to corrode. Let's look under here. I've never looked under here. That doesn't look too bad because it's covered up. See, that's part of the problem is, is they're, uh, they should be both covered up. Uh, these batteries are 356 cold cranking amps and the reserve capability is 99 minutes. This battery was manufactured 10 11 of 2015 and this is a 2016 car, it's considered. Now, I'm sorry about all the dizziness. Here's the air cleaner. Here's the sensor for the air cleaner. Here's the throttle body right here for the thing. Everything is so simple to get at, but I'm sure it's pricey for the damn thing too. Here's the computer right here. Here's the fuses right here. Here's your brake thing back here. A little bit hard to get to. And then back here is your fuel, right with your fuel pump. And this thing has no fuel filter, I heard which is really bad, I believe. <laughs> Heater core hoses are back here. Uh, electric fan is up here in front. Everything's there. Your horn is right here. So everything is real easy to get to. Now, if we can get it to focus, it takes zero W20 oil. And we'll open her up. I'll get some uh, a flashlight here. See how clean, you can check how clean your engine is. When it's running, you can actually do it to see how it is, but there's where we put the oil in. But I kind of disagree on the oil here because these newer cars are burning oil at less miles. Zero W20, that's and synthetic. I still think that's too light for these engines. Now, I think they do that for mileage and so it starts better in the winter time and all this and that. Uh, I do not like that because for one thing I don't think that increases the engine life as it gets older because they want you to change it every 10 to 15,000 miles. I'm not doing that. I'm going to change it at 5,000 miles max. 3,000 is pushing it on an older vehicle like my Avalanche but I push out to 7,000 miles now and that's not good. There's the alternator. Very simple to get at. Air conditioner, nah. All right. Water pump looks pretty good to get at. Electric steering, windshield fluid washer. There's that new fan they put in. It's squeaking too. Yep, it's out again. There's the starter down there. You can see the solenoid. That's easy to get to. It looks like uh, the oil dipstick is right. Right somewhere here. I just saw it. There it is down there, that white thing down there. Um, like I said, everything is so simple to get at. 
and everything there. There's my keys up there. So what I was gonna do, just, just for a few seconds, I don't wanna gas myself out in here, carving myself out. Just gonna fire it up quick. I'm gonna put the oil cap back on. Just fire it up so you guys can hear what the starter sounds like. We're gonna wait till that stupid center thing, well, there it shut off. Okay, never mind. Uh, we're gonna start it up so you get, can hear it. I want you to get an idea how it sounds, these little rice burners, people call them. Now, you see how it starts. Starter has got a lot of pip to it, pep, runs good. This engine has never failed me. Like I said, I used to have a one point liter in my 2009 Toyota Corolla Sport, and I had very good luck with them. And hopefully this one will be really good lucky, and I've had good luck with it too. You know, there's bound to have bad ones and good ones. Get my keys here. 3,450 miles. I'm supposed to have 7,000. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you appreciated all these videos that I've been making for the last few days. And this has all been pre-recorded for every day, or every other day, I should say, because I uh, am super busy. I'm gonna be chopping corn. And I gotta be doing you know, a doctor's appointment, so I gotta have a shot in my jaw, which I'm not looking forward to do because of TMJ. Uh, I grind my teeth in my sleep, and it's not fun. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter for more updates. And there should be a farm video coming soon of me chopping silage. Hopefully, I could be able to film some of it with my phone. I won't be able to film it with my DSLR, but we'll see. All right, guys. Until next time. Have a great day, and I'm going to have a beer tonight. Why not? I feel good. Well, I did. <laughs>